In this video, I want to show you how to nickel plate a steel item. In this case, there are items from a plane. What it exactly is, I have no idea. Um, anyway, I'm getting I'm I'm getting them delivered like this, and so they need to be a nice finished nickel on the end. About five, well, eight to ten microns are put on there. Um, I explain later how it works. Anyway, um, so I degreased them already a little bit. You know, ultrasonic cleaner, and you can see they're a little bit rusty even. So I'll put them in a tumbler, and I, I show this now. I don't show the whole process how the tumbler is working, how I do this with a tumbler in another video maybe, um, or I will. This is the tumbler. This is a polishing tumbler. The inside are stainless steel uh, pieces and. I chuck them in there about 10 at a time and then put the machine on for two hours and that's it, take them out and you will be surprised how they look like afterwards, even if there's rust on, on there or anything like that, it's gone afterwards. So this is how it looks, this was before, this is after and it looks quite amazing if you think about it. So this is how it was before and this is how it is after and yeah. So. Now, I clean them again in the electro cleaner. It's in there. I'll show you how it works now. Just chuck it in the electro cleaner. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't wait too long when you take them out of a tumbler because they start rusting if you put them into, into the air. If you leave, an out, leave them outside or so. Anyway. Put them in there, I put them in there for one minute. How much voltage I give them or amp is, I, I, I turn it up until it bubbles like this. So it's not a, that important. Well, it must bubble a little bit. Then you know um, it, the cleaning process is taking place. But they are quite clean anyway. So then after a minute or so, I take it out, rinse it in, in this case, in deionized water, because I put it back in the tank. Yeah, yeah, I put it back in the tank. Otherwise, you can use tap water if you don't put it back in the tank. So, deionized water, rinse it well, and chuck it in the tank. That's it. This tank is about 20 liters, 15, 18 liters. I can't remember. Anyway, um, so then. All the settings I've done before, how you set up a rectifier in this case, I put a link up there which pops up now. Um, how in this particular case, how to put the rectifier, how to set up the rectifier. I worked everything out before with the voltage, with the amp. Uh, the amp is important, not the voltage. So, anyway, now I take it out, switch it off, and take it out after. In this case, 12 minutes I put it in. Take it out, rinse it. In this case, because it's the final finish, you could use normal tap water, not a problem. Um, and cha -ching, that's it. They're done. And they look great. So, this shows you only here I put more than one in at a time. So, I put six or seven in at a time. As you've seen on the rectifier earlier, I plated with point, also 0 0.4 of an amp. And because this item is about 10 square centimeters, this means per square centimeter, I plate point as a 0 0.04 of an amp. Um, so if you plate like 10 of them at the same time, if you put 10 of them in, this would be 4 amp, as a 4.0 amp, what you put. You know, you need to increase by 0.4 of an amp each item you put in. Say, let's say you played one, you played one item is 0.4 of an amp, you played two items is 0.8, and so on and so on. Um, so you can put in as much as you want, but it is you need to be careful that everything is connected well. Otherwise, you know, it may be you may have a problem. So, and it. You need to make sure that everything is hanging on there very well. Otherwise, one of them may be not plating properly. Right. 
Okay, so um, I'll show again. This is one is how how I get them delivered. This one look quite bad actually. This is after tumbling now. The second one and look quite amazing. Um, and then the third one, of course, this is the already this is the finished item. Um, it looks in real life, it looks a little bit better than this, what the picture showing, but you can see the different. The nickel is a tiny bit, it looks much better yeah, than the middle one. The middle one looks already quite good anyway. Um, yeah. After, this is also the finished item, after I uh, finished them, I, or we, um, we have an X-ray, XRF machine in spa plating in bath um, so I we put them under the x-ray machine and to see if my calculations are okay roughly um, so we measured between the lowest what we measured was about I think it was about eight seven half eight microns to the most on the corners especially it was quite normal um, we measured about 15 microns so it's about so the average is 10 microns, 11 microns, which I want to achieve anyway, um, which is absolutely perfect. So the customer asked for at least a minimum of five or six microns, and we uh, I went a little bit higher. Um, yeah. So the calculations, what I calculated with the online calculator, you can find them on, on the spa planning website, I think, for the nickel, I think, yeah, roughly. Um, um, yeah, it tells you roughly. Uh, it, it, I think on the online calculator of bar plate, it says 0 0.2 of a my, of a amp per square centimeters. I have a little bit of a different tank set up. Um, I pour, uh, I I tried with 0 0.2, and then I, so I thought I can go higher anyway. So I always played a little bit higher, 0.4 of an amp per square centimeters of the item what you played. Anyway, uh, or some would say anyhow, um, especially the Americans, hello to the, all the Americans. Um, anyway, we, okay, we tested it afterwards. It's exactly what I uh, wanted, really. It's basically bang on, basically. Yeah. With the thickness, what we measured afterwards, the nickel is around 10 microns, which is absolutely perfect. Um, so now you can, you can even polish them now if you want. You can polish them, a hell, you can polish the hell out of it, and the nickel will not come off. Well, unless you polish, very happy. Um, eventually, it will come off. But ten microns is a is a lot. It's a really a lot. Um, anyway, all the details. Well, have a look on the website from Spa Plating. Have a look on my website. All the details are put in the bottom in the description. Anyway, that's it for today. In this video, for this video, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up. Put the bell on, and you get notifications. Goodbye.